So I took the, um, again, it was, it was almost a, um, a situationist kind of like a act or act of, or act of subversion where I went into um, the MoMA bookstore and also the Whitney bookstore. Um, and I've always been interested in reproductions and reproductions of reproductions. And so, because that's, that's how most of us experience artworks. Our art experience is through reproduction. You know, more so now on the screen, but also through postcards and catalogs and books. And so I wanted to share my work through the medium of reproduction with or in the context of other artworks. So I reproduced the postcards for MoMA and for Whitney um, exactly. You know, got the typography exact and, um, you know, the croppings and the proportions and the sizes and, uh, and the cardstock, and, you know, the weight of the paper. Matched it all exactly and made my own postcards of my own work and reinserted those into uh, their bookstores um, so that I, you know, I, I, I could um, share my work through reproduction. No, you know, in fact, even, even like towards the end of the 90s, um, when I was, I, I moved to New York in 1994 and you know, was painting and in group shows and, sh you know, sharing the work with friends and, and, um, and, and toward the end of the 90s, I decided I'm not going to have like an email list anymore. I'm not going to send out um, kind of a self-promotion announcement every time I have a show or do a project or invite people to something because it looked corny to me and, it, and, and it looked just kind of silly. Animals, also very careful about making anybody I know or even strangers feel obliged to attend something and I just I, I stopped doing that and I just have since just relied on you know galleries and institutions I work with for them to do their advertising or promotion and I don't have I've never joined any social networking sites um, I've never accepted any of the invitations and it's just not something I I'm, I'm, I'm just not something I'm interested in, you know. Um, oh, maybe because I'm a born contrarian of sorts, and anything that's popular, I don't want to do, you know. And if um, and if everyone's doing it, you know, then count me out, you know. So maybe that's the reason why. But also, it's, it, I just don't have time for that, you know. I just, you know, want to concentrate on my work. You know, that's the that's the hardest that's the hardest thing for me is just to be able to f to work. You know, that's all I want to do is just work. Well, not for me. Um, you know, I, I I certainly like working with galleries, and I like working with really good dealers, and I like working with institutions, and I've come to value, you know, what they offer, um, which is um, uh, primarily management. You know, uh, whether it's it's the management of an individual sale or management of of um, collectors and buyers and institutions. I'm I'm trying more and more to get to a place where I'm just concentrating on my work. And I have no problem working with dealers or galleries who earn their percentage, and primarily it's it's or it, for the most part it's fifty percent, usually a fifty fifty cut. And I, I have I have no problem with that at all, um, if it's you know earned, you know, and and in most cases it is, yeah, yeah, because it allows me to do what I need to be doing. You know, I do my part and work with a gallery so they do their part. You know, I don't. I don't really have time to entertain clients or collectors or get involved in in sales. Um, 
but I guess the solution could be I have an internal sales person or staff or something like that, but just, it just doesn't interest me. I, it's not something I need to, to be part of my studio practice. And, you know, not being motivated um, by money helps me um, steer clear of, of that financial incentive to sell your own work. It's, it just doesn't interest me.